Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Today we'll look at the compression neuropathies. So we begin with the pronator teres syndrome. So the pronator teres teres syndrome. So this pronator teres syndrome, what is the nerve involved? The nerve involved is nothing but the median nerve. So there is a median nerve which is involved. So there is approximately compressed beneath. So how is it compressed? It is approximately compressed and it is approximately compressed beneath the ligament of the beneath beneath the ligament. So it is approximately compressed beneath the ligament of the struthus ligament of the struthus as well as the bicipital aponeurosis. And also the origins of the pronator teres. Of the pronator teres. So the median now it is proximally compressed beneath the ligament of the structures, the bicipital aponeurosis, or the origins of the pronator teres. Next we move on to the radial tunnel syndrome the radial tunnel so radial tunnel is nothing but the arc arcade of the frost so it is the arcade of the frost so this is the radial tunnel syndrome so what is the nerve involved here the nerve involved is the posterior interosseous nerve so it is a posterior interosseous nerve and this is seen in the proximal forearm so this will be seen in terms of the proximal forearm and then we move on to the cubital tunnel syndrome so in terms of the cubital tunnel syndrome there is the ulnar nerve behind the medial epicondyle. There is a ulnar nerve, and this will be seen behind the medial epicondyle. Behind the medial epicondyle. So this was the cubital tunnel syndrome. Previously we saw the radial tunnel syndrome. So this radial tunnel syndrome, it was the arcade of Ross and syndrome and there is a posterior interosseous nerve which is involved in cubital tunnel syndrome it was the ulnar nerve behind the medial condyle then we are looking at the chiralgia so the chiralgia paresthetica so the chiralgia paresthetica is nothing but the Wartenberg syndrome Wartenberg Wartenberg syndrome. So, what is the nerve involved here? It is a superior superficial sensory branch of the radial nerve. So, it is a superficial sensory branch, and this is nothing but of the radial nerve. Then we move on to the carpal tunnel syndrome. So, the carpal tunnel syndrome is nothing but we are writing it as CTS. So in carpal tunnel syndrome, what is the nerve which is involved? Nerve involved is nothing but there is a median nerve which is involved. And the median nerve is nothing but it is at the wrist. Then we move on to the Guyens canal syndrome. So the carpal tunnel was associated with the median nerve. Now the Guyens canal. So the Guyens canal syndrome it is uh, the nerve involved is nothing but the ulnar nerve it is nothing but the ulnar nerve and this is seen at the wrist then comes the thoracic outlet syndrome thoracic outlet syndrome so thoracic outlet syndrome is nothing but a lower trunk of the brachial plexus so it is nothing but a lower trunk this is of the brachial plexus. So 
So the Guyon's Canal syndrome is at the ulnar nerve at the wrist. The carpal tunnel is at the median nerve. The Guyon's Canal is at the ulnar nerve. Then the thoracic outlet syndrome is at the lower trunk of the brachial plexus. Then we look at the tarsal tunnel syndrome. So in terms of the tarsal tunnel syndrome, So the tarsal tunnel syndrome is associated with the posterior tibial nerve. Posterior tibial nerve. Then comes the piriformis syndrome. So tarsal as it has T, it is the posterior tibial. Then we have the piriformis. Piriformis. So there is a piriformis syndrome. So this piriformis syndrome, it is uh, nothing but it is associated with the sciatic nerve. So piriformis is associated with the sciatic nerve. Then we have the Miralgia Parasthetica. So, Miralgia Parasthetica. So, Miralgia Parasthetica is nothing but the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. So, it is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Next, there is a Morton's meta tarsalgia. So, in terms of the Morton's meta tarsalgia, it is the interdigital planta nerve. So, in Meralgia parasitica, it was the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. In the Morton's meta tarsalgia, that is M and M, it is the interdigital planta nerve. It is the inter digital planta no next we move on to the nostalgia parasthetica so it is a nostalgia parasthetica so nostalgia parasthetica it is seen in terms of the superficial sensory neuropathy, superficial sensory neuropathy, and this is seen in the infrascapular area. It is seen in the infrascapular area. That is, it involves the pruritus with the dysesthesia. It involves the pruritus along with the dysesthesia. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.